guys, welcome back to the My Player Save. You join us back from injury, and we got back on the score sheet in the last episode as well. And we're still playing for England as it stands at the moment. We're about to take on Australia in a friendly today. Then we're back to club football, where we should hopefully get ourselves into the starting lineup for the next episode, or maybe even for the game against Lille if we're lucky. We have Liverpool away at Anfield, so. It's unlikely that we're going to put in a massively good performance there, but we'll try our absolute best. Liverpool have had a rotten time so far this season uh, in this save. And they're actually, well, prior to my injury, they were down the bottom end of the table, having not won after seven. After 11 games, they've now won two of those latter four, but still find themselves in 16th. So... In theory, on paper, it should be a game that we should win. We're up in 11th now, and only three points off 7th and four points off 5th. So European football for Newcastle next season is a potential. Still going well in the Europa League, of course, as well. In fact, I'm not sure what the Europa League group looks like since our injury. I do want to check that too whilst we're here. Are we going to go through? We're top with two games to go, although we will need to avoid defeat against Lille or Basel in one of the remaining two games to ensure that we do get progression through to the knockout stages of that competition. So it's international football with England, followed by Premier League football against Liverpool and European football against Lille. Three different types of football for you today. I'm coming on at Cam this time around with 10 minutes to go for England. 1-0 up against Australia. However, Bukayo Saka has been sent off. Coming on for Mason Mount. Eddie and Ketty have got the nod at striker ahead of me, coming on for Calvert Lewin at half time. Can we make an impact with 10 minutes to go? One shot on target, a goal involvement I'll go for. I'll go for a goal involvement because I think at Cannes we stand a better chance of getting that, don't we? Although we do only have 10 men on the field. As Bukai Saka picked up that double yellow card. Jacob Ramsey's in the box early on here, though, and could win that back, but Jackson does well. Australia had a fantastic World Cup campaign, of course. Unfortunately for them, narrowly beaten out by Argentina the other night. But did themselves proud, I think. Every Aussie would agree. Did themselves proud in Qatar. We hope England can do themselves proud as well. I'm recording this mm, four hours before we kick off against Senegal. We have, of course, had a fantastic previous World Cup and a fantastic previous Euros. But the mind always remembers Iceland. Pen! Oh, I was about to shoot, ref! The referee points the spot. It's a penalty for England. Am I going to take it? I doubt it. I don't know as I've, I'm going to have the opportunity to. Eddie Nketiah flattened. Do I get to take it? No, it's Nketiah himself. I was about to pull the trigger. Oh, I was surely about to at least potentially score a goal for myself. I've been moved to left striker now. Oh, Penenkud. That's a bit offensive for a friendly... But never mind. England 2, Australia nil. I could have scored a goal myself. Eddie Nketiah takes the piss out of Australia and Peninkas it. And we lead by two. Here's Emil Smith-Rowe. He scored two last time we played for England. Eddie Nketiah on a hat-trick now. Played him in, but he's immediately tackled. Just need to get a 6.5 here. Just a 6.5. Come on. We can absolutely do that. Out my feet here. Shot is... On target, but with barely any power behind it at all. I was certainly not in the best of body positions to take that shot on. We can give this to Conor Gallagher there, though, and he might be able to play me in again. No, I've not got much room here. I was trying to rely on some good balance and some good dribbling to get away from defenders. We improved our balance in the last episode. We are 80 rated now. Got better balance, better long shots, better attack positioning and better shot power. But none of which yet has led to me being able to meet my match rating for this game thus far. With four minutes to go, I really need to pull my finger out. And he really needs to be onside. Jacob Ramsey, forward quickly to me. I'll move left. Oh! And then get caught from behind. And the referee, surely, if he's stopping play like that, he's going to send, send him off. Yep. Red card for Tom Rogic. It's now ten men apiece. One red card apiece. And still, 2-0 England. Headed that on to Nketiah nicely. Here's Trent. He's got Nketiah still with him there. Ball goes back to Mori. Into Trent. He'll find me. I'll give that to Eddie Nketiah. He tried to play the 1-2. Was worth a go, Eddie. It was worth a go. 
Now Australia are in potentially at the other end. Falami. Nice tackle by Fakayo Tomori. Trent will come to me. Just find a teammate with it. I'm trying to get my 6.5 to improve my overall manager rating. Played in. Sent the defender to ground. We'll play the pass. And Smith throw very nearly. Gets me an assist and us a third. Oh, I'm on the corner, am I? That's strange. I'll take it. Why not? Can we get an assist? No, Miller heads away. Ramsey rides the challenge well and will get it out to me. And I'll lift it into the middle. Looking for man on the far side. Again, can't quite find him, unfortunately. And the ball will fall back to Australia. Just one minute added on. Doesn't look like I'm going to get my 6.5. But we are going to get at least one of our objectives in this game, I think. Are we? Yes, I got my shot on target, didn't I, earlier? Come on, please. Please, go on. Make the run. I'll play you in. Please give me a 6.5. Please give me a 6.5. Please give me a 6.5. Eddie and Ketia played in. Come on. Oh, no. I'm not going to get 6.5, but we are going to get a victory for England. It's 2-0 against Australia. Trying to ensure that I'm in the picture for competitive games when they start coming around for the next international tournament. But it's been friendlies only for England thus far. Only one of my objectives there. So my manager rating drops a little bit for my country. It's dropped for my club as well considerably because of my... Oh, I could buy a private jet. Jesus Christ, I could buy a private jet. Because of my injury, my manager rating plummeted. So we have got a lot of work to do to get ourselves back into the starting lineup or into the starting lineup for the first time uh, at Newcastle United. No, second time. We have started once already. On off the bench with eight minutes to go against Liverpool away from home. Let's try and make the impact and score the goal to win us the game. Dribble success rate is what I'll do. We stand a chance of getting a goal or an assist. And again, I only need a 6.5, which is doable. But with eight minutes... I've not got much time to do it. Hopefully, though. Hopefully, we can. Cunha. Nunez. Simple Liverpool goal. We trail at Anfield. He just ran straight through the middle of us there. Mateus Cunha. Driving at the defence. Nobody marking Nunez whatsoever. And there was no way he was going to miss that. The Uruguayan buries it. And the first proper action of the game is us going 1-0 down. This is absolutely a challenge like we haven't faced before in our career here at Newcastle. But I'm enjoying it. That's the aim of the player career, to experience all sides of the game. And at the minute, we are experiencing something we haven't before here at Newcastle. Out wide nicely. And forward it comes. Shaparenko, Elliot Anderson... Around the corner. We're in! Oh, no! Saved by the keeper. Shaparenko to Anderson. Little back heel. Given away again. So very nearly. Still, we could. We've won it back again. And played in. From the edge of the box. Maybe! Deflected. It'll be a corner for Newcastle. Come on, then, boys. Let's get that equaliser. Hakimi off for Liverpool. Oh, it's coming my way again. We did win it. Oh, no! We scored a header yesterday. And so close to scoring another today, but past the post. Alexander Arnold. Here's Abdullah. Liverpool coming forward. Mateus Cunha. Abdullah again. Lifted out wide. Brought down by Luis Diaz. Defenders around to try and deal with it. And deal with it they do. Kula Bali, what an interception that was. Absolutely love that. We got the goal kick from it as well. There's still time. There's still time for an equaliser. Oh, how's that for a first touch? I don't think I've, my guy's ever gotten his foot that high in his life, has he? Jesus Christ. And huzzah! Um, something tells me that that... <laughs> that is a torn hamstring. Win that header, win that header, win that header. Well done. I'll quickly play it first time to a hater. And he's giving it away. Bookings hit me. Well done, pal. In behind Darwin Nunez and squared and 2-0 Liverpool. Working it the other way around. It was Cunha to Nunez. Now it's Nunez to Cunha. That is 2-0 to the Reds. Give that to a teammate and Carlos Soler could maybe find us one back. A consolation goal perhaps. No, given away in the middle with seconds to go. And unfortunately, it's going to be two goals to nil that we lose at Anfield. Life at Newcastle is really tough. Finding it difficult to make an impact on this first team. 
not adjusting well to Premier League football. Have we potentially come to the best division in the world slightly too early in our career? Potentially so. Potentially so. I'm going to have to work very, very hard to get myself back into this starting lineup. Maybe. Maybe it is time to move away in January or maybe loan in January and come back at a later date. We shall wait and see how things progress between now and January, but I'm certainly hoping to fight hard and earn my way back in. In at striker when we're 1-0 up here against Lille with 11 minutes to go. If we can see this victory through... That would be Newcastle United into the knockout rounds of the Europa League, which should be absolutely brilliant. My objectives then for this game away from home in France, go for the passes in the opponent's half. We've got a corner early doors. Can my first touch be a goal? Maybe. Second touch is a goal. Oh, the first one down on the line. Yes. Finally! Get in! I'm so desperate to make it work at Newcastle United. The first header off the bar and... Well, I thought it was over the line, but I've won the second header. I want to have a closer look at a replay to see how close it was the first one to being over the line. I thought it was over. No, it's definitely on, isn't it? There's no Japan levels of just on the line here. That's definitely the majority of the ball on the line. But we won the second header and I have scored a goal. Come on! Newcastle 2, Lille 0. Get in! And here's Usor into Yazici and Zagrova. Lovely ball, lovely volley, good save. Nick Pope down low to make the stop. I wish Pope played more often, I really do. Corner for Lille. Fran Beltran takes it short to Kornienko, the left back. Good block. Um, no, I'm not going to get there. I just saved my stamina. Effort held by Nick Pope. Continually, the Englishman doing the business between the sticks. Thank you, Nick. If only Maximiano would do the same. If only my guy's first touch was any good whatsoever. I felt like my ball control stat is decent, but sometimes he really lets me down. Zadaka into the middle. Fran Beltran, Murphy and Pope pounces. We'll stay 2-0 up for now. Maestro Puch through the gap. Fran Beltran, Usor. The option is out wide. And they will use it surely eventually here. They're going to use Usor again. Oh, a little back heel. Love it. A second back heel. Even better. Zadaka. That's cleared away. Get to it, get to it, get to it, get to it. Well in, son. Go out wide here to Elliot Anderson. Who could maybe play me in? Oh, I don't know whether that's playing me in. He's played me. And then Chaloba has come across and found me there, Trevor. It is a free kick for us now. It's a long way out, though. Carlos Soler is the go-to free kick taker here. Is he going to shoot? He's going to lift it. And my header is going to go wide. Into the middle. Try and put him under pressure in the final third. And it will pay as well. Is he? Oh, Trevor Chaloba with a killer interception. To deny me another goal. But they're not going to deny us three points. That is Newcastle United into the knockout stages of the Europa League. Boos ring out around the home ground, ho around the home ground from the home fans. But with a 7.9 performance, we've put ourselves in a great position. As have Vitessa. I believe, I believe Vitessa and Lille and... The other side in the group, whose name escapes me briefly, Basel, are all on six points. They are. Wow. We have Basel on the final day. We're guaranteed top, let alone just progression. And the rest, all on six points. Talk about all to play for. Well, that will be in a latter episode. Our next game today is against Brentford in the league. But I have the opportunity to, to uh, train before we get there. So my manager favour will improve yet again. And hopefully... As we push towards an, a continued busy fixture list at this stage of the season, the more games we play, the better we play it personally, the more opportunity we have to get ourselves into the starting lineup quicker. It's Brentford now, then we'll be into December, and it's very busy in December, which is good. Not great for stamina, but 
more performances offer more opportunities to get yourself into the starting lineup, don't they, Chess? Yes, Chess, they do. Right, play match. 1 0 down, however, against Brentford. England teammate Eddie and Ketia has given them the lead. I'm on at striker for Undiweni, and we have work to do. Objectives for Newcastle's number nine. All achievable. Very much so, actually. Very much so. Good. We should, hopefully, hopefully, get all three of these and get a massive boost to our manager favour. Perfect opportunity, just when we need it, to get ourselves much closer to that starting lineup spot. Ball pumped forward. One well by Udakai and Bistrup. We'll look to build for Brentford. And Ketia has the option out wide. He's given it away, though. Aaron Hickey intercepts that nicely. This is good football from us, but Koulibaly's run out of places to go. It's played into me nicely, though. And we'll look to build from deep. Looking forward. Murphy's in the box. Go on! <sighs> the assist was there. Jacob Murphy, the assist was there. Cross comes in. Keepers come. No, I'm not going to get there. Eddie and Ketia to David Costa. Back to Caicedo and Zakanyi. Here's Bistrup. On Yeka over the top. Is he on side here? Groslu is. As is David Costa. Brentford 2, Newcastle 0. Elliot Anderson is with me. Here's Carlos Soler. No, Shaparenko. There's Jacob Murphy. And he's going to play me in. Come on, Tess, please. Come on, Tess, please. Show some strength. Hold the defender up. Go oh, support around me. Soler, Anderson. Oh, pass is misplaced. That was the chance to find one back, to get a goal for the team or even personally. Oh, and still maybe Shaparenko, Murphy. God, mm, oh, dribbling's okay. Anderson. Mayer, shot blocked, corner, come on then. We've scored more headers at Newcastle than we have done at any other club. Keepers up and everything. Keepers up and everything. Come on then. Ah, it's not going to find either of us. And it's going to fall to a Brentford man. We've recovered possession, get it forward quickly. No, it's a 2-0 defeat at home against Brentford. Oh, it does end in real disappointment, doesn't it, Derek Ray? I've got two of my three objectives. But my manager rating, I fear, will still drop by five because we didn't get the match rating. So, yeah, I'm down a little bit, but that's fine. Down a little bit to then be able to go up by plus 30 every time we train is absolutely fine. That's all three of today's games done and dusted. Uh, Australia, in fact, we've done, we've done four. Australia, Liverpool, Lille and Brentford. Well, I did four games. I didn't intend on, but I did four. Uh, Wolves, Chelsea and Basel to come in the next episode. We're getting closer to being on the uh, on the starting sheet and we'll have the opportunity to grow yet further in the next episode with our manager rating. And we're nearly, we're getting ourselves nearly halfway towards level 27 already. So we could improve our um, players overall, certainly, before the, uh, the end of this season. I want to be 82 or 83 rated if possible. We'll start tomorrow with Wolves. Where are we in the league? We are 14th in the league, but with a game in hand. So let's win that game in hand and go higher. Join me tomorrow for another one. Drop the video a like if you've enjoyed and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Come and join me on Twitch. You can watch these live and I'll see you next time.